Welcome along everyone to another Unreal tutorial. My name's Chris and this time I'm going to be showing you how to create a glowing shader and how to actually have it glow within your environment, much like the one that I use in my ident. Nice and quick and simple one, let's get going. So I have here my default tutorial scene, which some of you will recognize. And around my logo, I have that blue glowing ring. And that's what we are gonna create. So I'm just gonna really quickly reset this scene, and then we'll start building this from scratch. So here we are. I, as you can see, I've deleted the glow material and the ring has gone black. So let's start recreating it from scratch. So the first thing, obviously, we're gonna need is a material. So let's call that glow. The name isn't really that important. And just for something a little bit later on, I'm actually going to assign this as a material instance because I want to show you something else. So glow underscore instance is fine. Let's assign the glow instance to that ring. Now this is actually using a blueprint. So you don't need to worry too much about this, but I'm just going to go into that blueprint. The glow ring here, I'm now going to drag that glow instance that we just started onto the material. Save that, close this down. We don't ever need to worry about that again. Nothing's changed, but now that glow instance is assigned to that ring on the outside. Now, a glowing material is something that puts light out into the universe. It actually creates light rather than just reflects light like pretty much everything else in existence. Achieving that's actually very simple. So I'm just gonna open up the material editor by double clicking on the glow material. And let's bring my logo over here so we can see what we're doing. So as I mentioned, it, we're putting light out into the world and that's actually done through this emissive color channel in our material. So let's just start by creating a constant three vector and plug that into the emissive. And let's just, let's just make it red just so it's nice and easy to see. Let's just go one, zero, zero. Now, if I save this glow material, Already, you can see that my ring has started to glow red. Now, one thing that you might notice is different to the glow that I had before, is that the glow is actually contained to the actual object itself. It's just self-illuminating. It's not actually illuminating anything within the environment. This is because we actually need to just change something in our post-process volume. So I'm just gonna turn, close that down, select my post-process volume, I'm just gonna search for bloom, bloom, there we go. And I'm gonna turn on the intensity and instantly you can see it brightens up the environment. You can pick your different methods for whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. I tend to leave it as standard for the moment. It doesn't look too great right now, but we're gonna go in and make some tweaks and it will start to get a bit better. Now, what about if I wanted it to glow more or if I wanted it to be slightly duller. I have no control over that right now. And what we want to do is we want to multiply this over itself a given amount of times to make it brighter and dimmer. I'm going to create a constant, just a single constant, which is just a single number. And I'm going to multiply these two together. So let's just type multiply. So here's a multiply node. So I have the color going in to multiply channel A and zero at the moment, the constant going into B, and let's plug that into the emissive color. I'm gonna save that. Now it's gone black. So you may think this is a bit of a regression. It's actually not, it's actually doing what we expect it to do. Let me just explain that. So a constant three, even though you're seeing a color, is actually three numbers coming out of it and we are not multiplying those numbers by this number here. So at the moment, we're multiplying one in the R channel by zero, which is zero. Anything multiplied by zero is zero. So the result we're getting out the other end is zero. So hence we're getting black. If we were to crank that up to one, we're actually now back at where we started. And why are we getting red and not blue and green included in there as well. well. Remember what we're doing. 
we're multiplying these values by this value. So for red, we're multiplying one by one, which gives us one. Green, we're multiplying by one. Anything multiplied by zero is zero. So the result of that is zero, the result of that is zero. So that will always be zero. But the beauty of this now is we can now crank this up as much as we want. So let's try 10. So we're now getting 10 in the red and zero in all the other channels. I'm just gonna save that. And as you can see, we're now getting the glow come out into the world. So that's the basics of creating a glowing material. Super, super simple. As I mentioned in the future, I'm gonna take you on to do something a little bit more complex. You may notice that I have actually some life and motion in uh, the intro to my video, and I'll show you how to do that in a more advanced video. In the meantime, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask below. Again, I really hope you like this. Please, please, please like and subscribe the video. It means the world to me. And until next time, take it easy.